This was not the video I had planned for today. I was working on something completely different and then this lump of breaking news lands right at my feet. The end of the Unity desktop in Ubuntu. So there's this blog post from Mark Shuttleworth. We are wrapping up an excellent quarter and an excellent year for the company with performance in many teams and products that we can be proud of. As we head into the new fiscal year, it is appropriate to reassess each of our initiatives. I am writing to let you know that we will end our investment in Unity 8, the phone and convergence shell. We will shift our default Ubuntu desktop back to GNOME for Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Wow. After all the effort Canonical have gone to to invest in the Unity desktop, I suppose it never really became to what it should have been. It was never really taken up by other Linux distros, and on the phone side, I don't think Ubuntu phones really sold that well. Reading the blog a bit further, I'd like to emphasise our ongoing passion for investment and in commitment to the Ubuntu desktop that millions rely on. We will continue to produce the most usable open source desktop in the world to maintain the existing LTS releases, to work with our commercial partners to distribute that desktop, to support our corporate customers who rely on it, and to delight millions of IoT, Internet of Tat, or in Internet of Things, and cloud developers who innovate on top of it. We care that Ubuntu is widely useful to people who use Linux every day, for personal or commercial projects. That's why we maintain a wide range of Ubuntu flavours from both Canonical and the Ubuntu community, and why we have invested in Ubuntu Phone. I took the view that if Convergence was the future, and we could deliver it as free software, that would be widely appreciated both in free software community and in the technology industry, where there is substantial frustration with the existing closed alternatives available to manufacturers. I was wrong on both counts. I don't know. It sounded like such a brilliant plan a few years ago. Had Ubuntu got there a bit faster? Had Unity 8 been more successful? Maybe. But I wonder if some of the downside was that Microsoft made such a complete hash of it in Windows. Look how they dramatically changed the interface in Windows 8 and then massively backpedaled to Windows 10. And then, I don't know, I've got no experience in mobile so I can't really speak from it that much, but yeah, I, I don't think the desktop was the prime failure with the Microsoft. It was probably how much they uh, underestimated the competition from Android, and then they lacked the software in their app store, which and it becomes like a, a wider failure here. Lack of software, poor desktop. Why would people want to use it? So then why did developers want to create software? And you've got a never-ending spiral, <laughs> downward spiral at that. In the community, our efforts were seen as fragmentation, not innovation, and the industry has not rallied to the possibility, instead taking a better-the-devil-you-know approach to these form factors, or investing in homegrown platforms. What the Unity 8 team has delivered so far is beautiful, usable, and solid. <laughs> Opinions. But I respect that markets and community ultimately decide which products grow and which disappear. The cloud and IoT story for Ubuntu is excellent and continues to improve. And it goes on to explain about how well Ubuntu has done in the cloud. Fair play. This has been personally a very difficult decision because of the force of my conviction in the Convergence future, and my personal engagement with the people and the product, both of which are amazing. We feel like a family, but this choice is shaped by commercial constraints, and those two are hard to reconcile. Fair play. Ultimately, Mark has invested a lot into Ubuntu, and he does sell the services as well as getting community donations, so yeah, there is commercial constraints to a free open source product. So with the move to GNOME being planned for Ubuntu 18.04, that does mean we have effectively one more release of Ubuntu, which will be 17.10, which we don't know what desktop that will come with. Will it come with Unity or will they start shifting to GNOME at that point? 
I imagine if they're sensible, they would try shifting to GNOME early on. So perhaps Ubuntu 17.04 is the last we will see of the Unity desktop. I'm kind of sad in a way. I really did like the Unity desktop. As you can see evidenced in my KDE desktop, I have a Unity-like desktop. It was an excellent idea in making better use of screen space. But I've said in the past, I don't believe Canonical's implementation of Unity was particularly good. I hope they've learned some lessons on how to do the Linux desktop. In fact, maybe they're shifting the risk away, moving to a desktop developed by other developers being GNOME rather than developing it in-house, which is effectively what they had to do with Unity because no other distro was using it. Sorry, I stand corrected. Arch did have Unity available, although yeah, Un Ubuntu were the only distribution with Unity as the default desktop. So what are your thoughts on it? Sad to see Unity go? Or are you celebrating? I don't know, I shouldn't be too cruel to say that. But thanks for watching, see you all later.